Hi. Hello, how are you? I'm good. Um, how are you? I'm good. Thanks for asking. What's your name? My name is Josiah, and uh, your name is Richard, I see. Exactly. It's Richard, my name. Nice to meet you. You as well. So tell me, where are you from, Richard? I am from Brazil. Actually, I live in a city called Guarujá here in Brazil. It's in the state of Sao Paulo. Mm. I actually spoke with someone from Sao Paulo earlier today. Yeah, there are a lot of Brazilians here on campus, especially from Sao Paulo, right? Mm. Yeah. That's really cool. And how long have you been teaching English here on campus? Oh, this is actually my first day. Oh, is it your first day? First day. Oh, welcome to Cambly. Well, thank nice. you. How long have you been learning on Cambly? I've been learning on Cambly for almost six months. Mm. Yeah, it's been a while. And it's really cool, you know, to be here because to talk to native speakers is amazing, you know, to be able to express myself in English. It allows me to improve my English so much. And that's really cool. I've been working so hard on my English, and I think my English has improved so much since I started here. Again. You sound like you can speak English very well to me. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm so glad to hear that, yes. As I told you, Cambly is amazing. Mm, so tell me, is there anything in particular that you want to talk about today? You know, uh, that's interesting because, for example, during the day, I love studying grammar and phrasal verbs, lengths, and, for example, grammar part. And at night, for example, here on Cambly, I love talking about all sort of things, you know, to use the words that I learned on my day. <laughs> and, nice. And, you know, I have a game called Questions in English. It's a, such a good game because there are all sort of questions here. For example, weird questions, normal questions. And we can express ourselves in different ways. Can we play it? Sure. Okay. So, basically, I'm going to ask you a question and we both have to answer them, okay? In okay. our opinions. Okay, that's really cool. The first question is, let me see. Are you used to speaking in public? Hmm. No, I wouldn't say so. Um, I've done it before, but not very often. And you? Mm, I see. You know, uh, I think I I am used to speaking in public because I study in college. You know, I study electrical engineering, and sometimes we have to do a lot of work in college, and that's really cool. And we have to talk to a lot of students, you know, to to do the best job, you know. Mm. And I think yes. And I also work, you know, I work in logistics. So yes, I have to speak in public. So there is no way out. <laughs> 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 Let me see another question. Okay, what kind of music do you like to listen to? Heavy metal. Have metal. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Cool. <laughs> and uh, what kind of music do you like to listen to? Mm, uh, you know, I am an open minded person for music. For example, I, but especially I like listening to pop music, uh, jazz, uh, electronic. I, I have to say that I love electronic music. <laughs> oh, I like electronic as well. Yeah, really cool. Do you like to go to, to parties? To like clubs and stuff? Exactly. Yeah, I've, I've been to some clubs, um, not very many though, but I enjoyed it, yeah. Mm, that's really cool. And but uh, by the way, where are you from? I'm from America. Uh, which, which city are you in? Um, Richmond. It's a small city in Kentucky. In mm, Kentucky. I think you are the first one who I talk from Kentucky. <laughs> mm. Let's go and are there a lot of uh, parties and clubs, stuff like that in Kentucky? Um, in the cities, yes. Um, Lexington and Louisville, I would say yes. Mm -hmm. But uh, most of Kentucky is very uh, rural, very, um, uh, there's, it's, there's not very many cities. Um, very, a lot of countryside, a lot of wilderness, but yeah. Oh, that's so interesting, you know, because I intend to go to the United States probably next year when I finish my college. 
and I'm thinking about where I'd like to go, but I, I think it would be uh, probably Los Angeles and New York. Have, have you ever been to those places? <laughs> No, unfortunately. Uh, well, I might have been to Los Angeles um, just driving through, though, on the trip. But no, I've never really been to Los Angeles. I've never been to New York either. Um, probably the biggest city I've been to is Atlanta, Georgia. Mm -hmm. I, I thought everyone in the United States has been in, in those kind of places. <laughs> <laughs> Into New York and Los Angeles? Exactly. There's the there are people in the, there are people in America um, who have never even left their own state. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it depends on the person a lot. Like if they're if they're maybe um, more wealthy, they might have taken more vacations to places like that. Mm, I see. Um, before my, my next question, uh, why did you decide to be an English teacher? Oh, it seemed like a good job, and it seemed like it would be a lot of fun. Um, it pays more than like uh, working at a fast food restaurant, and it's more enjoyable. Mm, so yeah. that's so interesting, you know, because I think when I finish my college, I'd like to apply for TOEIC and for IELTS probably, and I'd like to be an English teacher as well here in Brazil, you know, because oh, to studying to here in a private English school is uh, rather expensive. And so it's really hard, you know, it needs to improve here in Brazil because only 5% of people speak English fluently here. So mm. there are a lot of things to improve. And that's why, and I think that's really cool to teach. I think it's a, a really good job, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So let me ask you another question. Okay, oh, it's, a, it's a, such an interesting question. Uh, in your opinion, why do you think people care so much about the other people's life? Why do I think people care so much about other people's lives? Exactly. Hmm. Um, well, I'm not sure they always do. Sometimes they do. If it's like a famous person, um, but like sometimes people um sometimes if they're like a selfish person they can ignore other people's lives if they're like people who are below them or maybe if you know what i mean yes i know what you mean exactly for i, I agree with you for example, especially for celebrities sometimes people uh, see them and they feel like oh my gosh why i, I can't have that and sometimes it's not good, you know, but sometimes they are jealous of mm. what 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 they can't ha uh, have, you know. Mm. And but yeah, so it's uh, such a hard question, you know. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I think. You know, sometimes I think of because of jealous and because we want to to have something that we don't have, so. Yes. Who are um, some celebrities in Brazil? Have you ever heard about Neymar? No. He's a football player. Oh, yeah. yeah. I heard uh, Anderson Silva is very famous in Brazil. Exactly. He he fights, right? <laughs> yeah. In UFC. Yeah, UF. yeah. So, yeah. So, but do you like soccer? Um. I've played some soccer, um, not very much though, but I don't know much about, I haven't, I don't watch a lot of sports on TV, so I don't know like the teams or anything. Mm, I see. But do you mean, uh, for example, because there are football and soccer? Soccer is, um, that's, that's the American word for football, right? Mm, yeah. So, so you mean, um, uh, so do I like, yeah, there's, see, when you say there's soccer and football, you mean uh, soccer and like American football or? I mean, like, for, example, for example, Barcelona and Chelsea, those kind of teams, you know what I mean? Yeah, 
Yeah, um, I don't know much about um, about this. Uh, only the only thing I know about like uh, international like football is um, Ronaldo. He's famous. <laughs> it's the only person I know. Yeah, because okay. <laughs> in the United States there are a lot of sports, and it's so interesting. Yeah, and the entertainment in the United States is really huge. I think you guys discovered how to, for example, earn money with the entertainment. That's yeah. really, really cool. A lot of movies are made in the United States. Yes. The Hollywood. <laughs> and that's really nice. Do you, uh, do you like going to the movies? To what movies? Yeah. Yeah. Movies are very fun. Mm, that's so inc incredible. So let me ask you another question. Do you consider yourself a disciplined person? Hmm. That's interesting because I'm like halfway disciplined and halfway lazy. Um, in certain parts of my life, I'm extremely disciplined. In other parts, I have no discipline. <laughs> so I don't know, halfway, I would say. And you? I see. You know, for example, I like to organize my, my week. For example... Today is Sunday, and I like to know what I have to do during the week. For example, I have to go to work and also to college, and I have to do this and that. But sometimes on weekends, I, I like to be free, you know, and don't think about anything because mm -hmm. we have to rest, right? <laughs> so I'm kind of disciplined, a disciplined person. But mm -hmm. I sometimes I, I like to, to rest and don't plan anything. <laughs> Mm -hmm. you know, let me see another question. Okay. How do you usually, that's a good question, especially for you, you, you are here on Cambly. How do you usually start a conversation with anyone you've never seen? Oh, I would go up and I'd greet them, introduce myself, shake their hand, and... Um, just um, ask them how their day is, like that, I guess. Mm, and, nice. and you? Yeah, that's a, such a good way to start a conversation. For example, here on Cambly, I talk about, for example, uh, the greetings, right? It's, it's the norm. And I talk about the weather and where you are from, for example. But, for example, in person, it's hard, you know, to start a conversation. But if... It would be in English. Uh, I think I would use a phrase that you guys use a lot. For example, nice day, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what I think I start the conversation. <laughs> so yeah. let me see another question. Okay. Uh, what the subject do you think is not good to to have a conversation? What subject is is not good to have a conversation about? Yeah, in your opinion, exactly. Hmm. Uh, well, with certain people, I would say politics. With uh, with my brother, my brother, he um, has some very extreme political views. And if you talk politics with him, you'll get into an argument and it'll last forever. For hours, you'll be talking. <laughs> yes, you know, that's so interesting because in Brazil, we have a phrase that we have to avoid talking about screen topics. Soccer, <laughs> uh -huh. religion, and political things, you know? Uh -huh. Those topics, yeah, they are so difficult to have a conversation because people start to to have an argument you know <laughs> <laughs> but it's not good <laughs> yeah there's a similar similar saying in america um no religion and politics at the dinner table so you don't discuss religion and politics when you're eating dinner together yes exactly <laughs> because we want, we want to have a conversation, don't an argument, <laughs> right? <laughs> so, thanks so much. It was really nice talking to you. Oh, you as well. Thank you. Yes, have a, gr a great job here in Cambly. Welcome. So that's really nice to talk to 
to a lot of people. That's really cool. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks so much. Have a great night. Okay. You too. Bye. Bye.